Hello YouTube, this is Alvance Fan with not a wand review, just a wand showing slash character analysis 2.0 I guess. Just giving an update on the collection. Uh say so yeah, I'm really excited to see how much is here. So yeah, this is just gonna be a kind of a background on each wand. Not super big background, just a minor yeah. so yeah here we go <laughs> um this is the apprentice wand it's made of rosewood this is like the most basic wand that Alvan sells uh I have no idea if it's based on a character or not and there's no thing with it this is the redwood wand uh it's uh Redwood, <laughs> uh, there's that. Oh, and for people who haven't seen this before, all each of these wands have their own review, so you can check them out. Redwood has it's been set has been said to be either Fred or George's. I can't remember exactly, but I think it's one of theirs. This is the Holly 11 inch. This is supposed to be Harry's wand. But, uh, yeah, this is, in the book, that's what it's described to be Harry's wand. Here is Holly 15, so these are basically the same wand, just one's 15 inches, one's 11 inches. So these two, either of these two could be Harry's wand, or I like to think of Holly 15 to be like Professor Snape's wand, because it looks kind of like his wand from Noble Collection. Uh, this is the oak wand. Uh, this wand is one of my favorites. Uh, I just like the design of it. And uh, again, I do not know whose wand is supposed to be. Just some random wizards. Uh, here is the elder wand, which probably anyone who's watched the last two movies kind of a big deal. <laughs> um, so this wand is uh, Professor Dumbledore's or one of the, th the oldest brother of the three brothers, his wand. Uh, or Voldemort's wand in the last chunk of the book and part two of the movie. And it was also Draco's and Harry's. So, yeah. Um, this is probably my personal favorite. It's the Rowan wand. Uh, I really like the design of it, and uh, I like the color. It's white. Like, no other wands are white, so. Yeah, I, I always like this one. Um, this one does not have a wizard that I at least know of. Oh, wait, this is either one of Fred or too. Yeah, so this one and the... Redwood are Fred and George's. I just don't know who's is whose. Here's the Ash Wand. Uh, this one is pretty cool. I like it. I like it how the handle has its own like design where it's just flat, then like a big circle. <laughs> yeah, so uh, kind of looks like a sword when you hold it. Um, this is Cedric Diggory's, and I think Ron's, from the second book after. So, yeah, that's that one. Uh, this is the Paddock Wand. Uh, I do not know if any wizard in the books must have this wand. But it looks like someone important would have this wand, like a... Headmaster of a school, or someone that works in the ministry, ministry, or someone. Um, with this one, the paddock wand that has some word that begins with M in front of it. I can't remember uh, exactly what the word is, like Minnesota or something. Uh, I had some questions if this is that wand, it's not. The one that's on there is only seven inches long. It's like a pocket wand. So 
if you want this one, don't buy that one. But sadly, I don't know if Alavan sells, sells this wand anymore because I've been on there recently and I haven't seen it. Uh, this is the ebony and walnut. It is supposed to represent Draco Malfoy's and the wand that Harry uses in part Deathly Hallows Part 2. Hold on a second. Uh, yeah, this is the only wand that I have that is two separate pieces. The back feels kind of heavier. Uh, I really like this wand. It's really simple in the design, but it's really cool. So, if those of you don't know the story, uh, this wand and that wand, the elder wand, go to face each other, and it's really cool. Uh, this one is supposed to be Hermione's wand. It is the vine wand. Uh, the reason why this one has a plastic, or not plastic, but paper wrapping stuff instead of a red bag, is that this was my first Phineas Choice wand, which is where at some point it has some sort of flaw or is just not really a wand that they won't actually sell under that name. So they put it in that. I mean, they're still totally awesome. But they're just a little bit different. They're actually just more unique. But yeah, I haven't been able to find any flaw or any reason why this one wouldn't be regular. But yeah, I'm, I'm glad I got it. And also, when you buy a Phoenix Choice one, it's totally random. You don't choose it. They just pick a random one and they send it to you. Uh, this is the Willow Wand. This is supposed to be Harry's mother's, uh, and, uh, Ron's wand in the first movie, first and second movie. Uh, this one's really cool. It looks like the most, like, a magic wand from there to, from that world, to me anyway, because it's... The color totally matches, and the design is simple enough to be one of theirs. So yeah, uh, this wand is the newest wand. I had a video of it put up yesterday. This is the Lignum Vita wand. I think that's how you pronounce the last word. Vita, Vita or something. Vita or Vita. Um, this is the only wand I have right now from the Majestic Collection. Which is their their want the ones in that collection are a lot more pricey, I guess you could say, and I think actually a lot more time is spent in on them because this one looks really awesome. And I found out something uh, right there. The separation it's actually two pieces of wood put together, like it's from the same branch. But they were cut and put back together. So if you notice the grain is different, like all around it, the grain matches for some reason. But right there, the grain goes weird. Like that line, like that line should match up with that one, but I don't see why it doesn't, but. So yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure that it's two pieces put back together. But yeah, I still love it. Like, this is also, this wand wood is supposed to be the kind that Merlin used. So you don't actually see his character in Harry Potter, but he is probably, like, one of the most well-known wizards ever. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm kind of running out of time, but, uh... So yeah, that's all the wands. Each one has its own review if you want to take a look at it. Uh, uh, I love them all. And again, uh, thank you guys for all the support. Some shoutouts to Shoonover, Evil Tig, DM Dark Lord, Sparks2438, Grangy Dangers, both of them. And uh, so yeah, don't let anyone stop you if you want to do collecting and yeah, thanks again for all the support. This is Alvance Fan signing off.